Okay, so we will talk about uh, LFSR based stream cipher. So, we have seen the LFSR as a uh, key stream generator or pseudo random bit generator. So, let us start with a, say L bit LFSR, how we define the L bit LFSR. So, it is basically L bit register, we have L flip flop. So, L bits, so S S 0, S 1, S 2 like this, so dot 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 S L minus 1, okay. S L minus 1. So, this is we have L L bit register. Now, each of this we have a AND gate along with some values say C 0 and this is taking this. So, so this is uh, C 1 like this. So, th if this is S i, then we have a S i is going and we have C i, this C i is are either 0 or 1 like this. So, this is basically C L minus 1. So, these are all x or dot 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 x or with this and this is coming out. So, this is a typical uh, L bit LFSR. So, these are L bit flip flops, uh, L bit register and these are the, these we call state. This is the first St, uh, 0 state, 1 state like this. So, this is a state. So, now this C i is are either 0 or 1. If the C i is 0, then whatever the value over here, it will not contribute there. So, that corresponding bit is not contributing in the feedback. If the C i is 1, then it will contribute it in the feedback and this will corresponding to a polynomial P x is equal to 1 plus C 0 x plus C 1 x square up to C L minus 1 x to the power L. So, this is a L degree polynomial. So, depending on the value of C i, so we have this uh, polynomial. So, let, let us take an example of 4 bit LFSR. So, for 4 bit we have four, 4 bit register 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have connections there. So, say we have a connection over here and we have a connection over here. So, this is one LFSR, this is going out, this is one LFSR. So, this LFSR is corresponding to the polynomial 1 plus x. So, this corresponding C 0 is 1, C 1 is 0, C 2 is 0 C 3 is again 1, because these are the bit contributing in the feedback. So, linear feedback sieve register. So, this is corresponding to this polynomial. So, if we have this polynomial, this is basically this connection. Now, if we have say this polynomial 1 plus x square plus x cube. So, this will corresponding to with LFSR, so, this is again 4 bit. So, this is basically x is not there. So, x square x cube. So, this 2 and it is. So, this is the this is the LFSR corresponding to this polynomial. So, given a polynomial we can have a LFSR and given a LFSR one can have this polynomial. Okay. So, suppose we take this polynomial, this polynomial is as a particular Characteristics, uh, characteristics, this is a irreducible polynomial, not only that it is a primitive polynomial. We will talk about primitive polynomial when we discuss mathematical background of this course. So, if you take this LFSR and if we start with any initial vector, so actually we initialize this state by the secret key shared between Alice and Bob. So, if we start with any non-zero initial vector, uh, initial uh, key, so suppose we are so, this is a secret key shared between Alice and Bob and we want to run this LFSR and we, are, we, we want to get the key stream. So, if you do so, then uh, what value will be getting? So, so, in the first run this 0 will come here, 1 will come here, this 1 will come here, 
this 0 will come here and this bit will be replaced by x or with this and this which is basically 0. So, now this is the current state of the this LFSR. So, we will copy this value over here and then again we will. So, each clock we are uh, we are omitting one bit last bit. So, feedback we and we are taking the feedback to fill up the this bit. So, now next this will be output and this will come here, this will come here, this will come here. Again this will be uh, this and this XOR. So, this is one. So, if we continue like this, uh, so in the next clocking this will come here, this will come here, this will come here, this will come here and XOR will be this and because this is the current state of the LFSR. So, this in this XOR, beta is XOR, this is 0. So, in the next 0 will come here, this will come here, this will come here, this 0 will come here, we XOR this and this. So, this is the key stream bit actually. So, this and this 0 again. So, then uh, this is the current state. So, this will come here and this will come here. So, linear feedback register. So, we are just shifting this by 1 bit and we are taking the feedback based on this connection based on the polynomial. So, this will be coming here, this will be coming here, this 2 is basically 0. Then we have 1 is going there and we have here, this will come here, this will come here, this will come here and this 2 is 1. So, this is the, so up to this we got uh, so, we got like this 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 up to this. Now, we copy this here because we do not have space here. So, we copy this value over here and we will continue. So, 1, 0, 0, 0. So, this is the current state. Okay. So, now we again run it in the next clocking, this 0 will come here and this 0 will come here, this 0 will come here, this 1 will come here and this and this x r it will give us 1. So, this is next key stream bit is 0 and then we have uh, again we uh, take this out 0, 0, 1, 1 and this will be 1 again and we continue like this. So, this is again 0. So, now this is 0 will come here 1, 1, 1 and this will be again, this is the current state, this will be again 1. So, now we have uh, 1, 1, 1, 1 and now these are all 1. So, this is the key stream. So, this will be 0 again and then this 1, 1, 1 and this 0 will come here and this 2 will give us a 1 again and so, this is, this is, this will basically another 0 1 1. Now, this is the current state. So, we will just copy here. So, 1 0 1 1. So, again we will run this to get the next key stream. So, this 1 will come here, this 1 will come here, this 0, this 1 will come here, we exert this 2, this will give us 0 and then 1 will come here, this 0 will come here, 1 will come here, this 0 will come here, this 2 will give us a 1 and then uh, again 0 will come, will be the output, then this 1 0 1, this 2 will be give us 1 and then we have again this 1 will go here, this 0 will come here, 1 will come here, this 1 will come here and this is 0. So, this is the initial state it is coming back. So, this is a full sequence. So, this is 1 1 0 1. So, this is a period. So, this is a full period. This is a period of length 15. So, after that it will just generate the same key stream because we are uh, coming back to the original uh, the uh, initial internal state because we, we started with this, this state, this, this was the key. Then again, if we continue, we will get the 
same same key stream. So, this is one period of the this uh, key stream generator pseudo diamond bit generator and this sequence we have seen uh, in the. So, if you come to this slide. So, uh, so, this this sequence we have seen is satisfying this is the same sequence here and we seen that this sequence is satisfying uh, all the properties of the Gulam's postulates. So, this sequence is a uh, good random sequence in the sense of it is satisfying the all the test of the Gulam postulates and even we can try for other few tests uh, and it may pass. So, the the uh, the conclusion is so LFSR is giving a good sequence. So, LFSR is a good pseudo random bit generator provided we choose the polynomial to be a good polynomial. So, here polynomial is basically this. So, 4. So, this is we discuss when you talk about mathematics of this course, this is what is called primitive polynomial. Primitive polynomial. So, we will talk about th this in details what is primitive polynomial. So, if we choose a primitive polynomial then that corresponding LFSR will give us a uh, good sequence of uh, pseudo random uh, bit generator. So, so it is good. Now, we will talk about. So, this is a stream cipher this is a LFSR bit stream cipher basically it is generates the key stream. Now, uh, if we just consider this, so as a stream cipher key stream generation and if we have this connection like this. So, you want to see how good this key stream is. So, we know this is a randomness wise it is good, but is there any other linear it is, is this key stream is linear or non-linear that we want to talk about. So, suppose you have a 4 bit LFSR, okay. we have a 4 bit LFSR and suppose uh, we have this, this C 0 and this is say C 1 and this is C 2, C 3 and we have this x or and this is coming out this is going out ok. And this is a uh, 4 bit LFSR, but C i is are either 0 or 1. So, the corresponding polynomial is basically C 0 plus C, uh, 1 plus. 1 plus C 0 x plus C 2 x square plus C 3 x cube sorry C 0 plus C 1 x plus C 2 x square C 3 x to the power 4, where C 1 C 2 are basically 0 or 1. So, it depending whether that corresponding bit is participating in the feedback or not. If it is participating in the feedback that corresponding C i is if S i corresponding state S i is participating in the feedback then the corresponding C i is 1 otherwise that C i value is 0. Okay. So, now suppose, so this is the polynomial. Uh, now, now suppose this is the key, key is alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, 4 bit key which is shared between Alice and Bob. So, how we are getting key stream from this LFSR? So, we are first loading this alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 4 as a initial value of this state. Okay this is you can consider as a state and e each time this state is changing. So, this this could be the initial value of this state. Okay. So, now if we just so key is our cigarette key is basically alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4 which is shared between Alice and Bob. Now, what will be the key stream? Key stream is first key stream bit is alpha 4 will be coming out then so, this will be basically uh, alpha 1 will come here, alpha 2 will be come here, alpha 3 will be come here and this will be basically uh, summation of. So, this is basically C 0 summation of C 0. Uh, so, uh, C 0 alpha 
summation of so this is C 0 alpha 1 plus C 1 alpha 2 plus C 2 alpha 3 plus C 4 alpha 4 like this. So, but the next key stream will be alpha 2 alpha uh, alpha 3 alpha 2 alpha 1. So, all the key bit will be first key stream basically and then next one the alpha 5 basically this is k 1 k 2 these are the key stream k 3 k 4. So, k up to k 4 we are getting basically the the key the secret key then after that what about k 5? k 5 is basically this one which is having this linear form c 0 alpha 1 plus c 1 alpha 2 plus uh, c 2 alpha 3 plus c 4 alpha 4. Okay. So, this is basically our k 4 i k 5. Now, how to get k 6? k 6 will be, so this is basically uh, for k 6 we have basically what uh, it will be again. So, this will be, so now for k 6 what is the status? So, the status is we have a, uh, so k 5 will come here. So, next one will be, so this is k 5 will come here and still this is uh, then if k 5 is here then this is say alpha 1 and this is alpha 2. Uh, then also then k 5 is here only. Then what is k 6 then? k 6 is basically sorry k 5 will be here and this is alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 only k 4 is gone. So, what is k 6 then? k 6 will be c 0 k 5 plus c 1 alpha 1 plus c 2 alpha 2 plus c 3 c 0 k 5 c 1 alpha 1 c 2 alpha 2 plus c 3 alpha 3. Okay. This is the k 5. Now, if you convert this into this, if we use this formula, so it will be again something like some uh, d 0 alpha 1 plus d 1 alpha 2 plus d 3 alpha 3 uh, sorry d 2 alpha 3 plus d 3 alpha 4. Uh, 4 will be there, yeah 4 will be here, 4 is coming from this one. So, this is again a linear function in alphas. Okay. So, these are just a constant, these are these d i's are combination of this uh, this c i's basically. So, this is a linear function. So, again k 7 also will be written as some w 0 alpha 1 plus w 1 alpha 2 plus w 2 alpha 3 plus w 3 alpha 4 like this. So, any key stream is basically any key in the key stream is basically linear combination of linear function in the, the cigarette key stream cigarette key. So, this is a linear function. So, this may be dangerous in a sense of we will talk about algebraic attack later on. So, we can have some equation linear equation then one can try to solve that equation and can guess what is the alphas because if we know some of the key stream. Uh, so, this is algebraic attack, we will talk details about that. So, this linearity is having some problem. So, this this is a linear function. So, LFS is that is why it is called linear feedback sieve register. So, it is a linear function in alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4. Okay. So, this is this has some problem with the say, uh, uh, with the attacks like al algebraic attack. So, we will talk about those later on. So, now question is how we can make it non linear. So, we want to use a LFSR, we want to use LFSR, but we want to make it a non linear key stream generator. So, this is a linear key stream generator. So, if you just use the LFSR, so LFSR is a linear key stream generator. 
So, we want to make, make it non-linear key stream generator. So, idea is to uh, have a non-linear function. So, suppose we have a say n LFSR. So, this is 1 4 bit LFSR L 1, we have another 4 bit LFSR L 2 like this. Suppose we have this is one example how we can use LFSR to make a nonlinear uh, function, nonlinear key stream generator. So, we suppose we have 4 bit 4 LFSR. So, each is coming from a polynomial. So, once we have a polynomial, so basically we have a 4 polynomial and corresponding to each polynomial we have a LFSR. Now, what we do? We just take the output of this LFSR and we have a function which is a nonlinear function. So, say this output say x 1 and this output say x 2, this output say x 3 and this output say x 4. It could be uh, instead of 4, it could be 5, 6 n. In general, this is say n LFSR of L bit. So, each is giving output key stream. So, this is this is linear, but this is also each of output of this LFSR is giving linear, but here f we use as a nonlinear function. So, f is a nonlinear function. Okay. So, f is basically nonlinear function. So, this is basically nonlinear key stream bit. So, f could be say if it is 4 bit x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4. So, it could be x 1, x 1 with x 1 into x 2, x 1 with x 1, x 2, x 3, any nonlinear function like this x 2, x 4, any nonlinear function we can have use to make it a nonlinear key stream bit generator. So, this could be extended up to uh, n, n LFSR. So, and each could be a L bit. So, we have basically uh, L degree. Uh, n polynomial and each is giving us a 1 bit and this f is the taking this n n bit and giving a uh, output bit and which is a nonlinear function. Okay. So, we can take an example of such LFSR which is basically Griffey generator. So, it is basically based on 3 LFSR. So, this is uh, one example of uh, nonlinear key stream generator based on the LFSR. We can use LFSR, but we have to apply a nonlinear function f. So, here the nonlinear function is basically here we are having 3 LFSR L 1, L 2, L 3 of any bit. So, this is giving us x 1, this is x 2. So, this is f is the nonlinear function, this is x 3. So, this is 1 LFSR, this is okay, this is may be L bit. So, what we do? How we get initialize this? We can initialize this by the secret key, which is shared between Alice and Bob. So, we will just put this secret key as the initial value of this state okay, and then we will run this LFSR and once we run the LFSR, we will get output this is x 1 and this is the x 2 output from this LFSR, this is x 3. So, this function for Giffy generator is basically of this form uh, x 1, x 2, this is the and then uh, x 1 plus x 2 into x 3. So, this is basically x 1, x 2 then x 2, x 3, x or x 3. So, this is a nonlinear function. So, this will generate the nonlinear key stream bits, okay, which is not linear. So, we can just draw this uh, in a logical way. So, this is x 1. So, x 1 is ending with x 2. So, this is x 2, this is x 1, this is x 2 x 1 is ending with x 2 and then this x 2 is also uh, also having a negation. So, 
and this we are ending with x 3, this we are ending with x 3 and this 2 will we are just doing the x ring b 2 is x ring and it is giving us the stream. Okay. So, this key stream is a non linear key stream because we are using the non linear function f like this. So, this is one example where we can use the LFSR. LFSR is basically a linear uh, key stream generator, but we can use LFSR as many as we want and we just initialize this internal state as the, uh, the secret key shared between Alice and Bob and then each, each of this LFSR we just initialize by that key and then we run this and each time it is it is giving output that x 1, x 2, x 3 and then we take a nonlinear function f to make it nonlinear uh, key stream generator. Okay, so, this is the uh, example where we can use LFSR as a nonlinear uh, 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 to generate a nonlinear key stream although LFSR is a linear. Now, we talk about the general form of the stream cipher, general structure of a of a stream cipher. In particular, a synchronized stream cipher, it is called synchronized stream cipher, synchronous stream cipher. Synchronous stream cipher means the key stream will only depend on the uh, the secret key shared between Alice and Bob. So key stream will not depend on the plain text or cipher text. So we are not getting we are not taking any feedback of the plain text or the cipher text. So it is independent of the plain text and cipher text. So that stream cipher is called synchronous stream cipher. Another type of stream cipher is uh, asynchronous stream cipher where we will give the uh, input another input as a plain text or the cipher text bit. So, for synchronize the key stream is independent of, of plain text and the cipher text. So, we are not having any uh, input of the plain text or cipher text in the key stream. So, the stream cipher we have seen LFSR based stream cipher all are synchronized stream cipher because it is just taking the uh, original key and it is giving us the key stream. So, one example is example of a synchronized stream cipher is LFSR based stream cipher we have seen. Okay, so, now we can write a general uh, structure of a synchronized stream cipher. So, it has basically having a state which we denote by S t. Uh, for example, if it is LFSR, then if it is 4 bit, so this state is basically 4 bit register and which is updating by a state update function. This state is every time updating, like for LFSR, we have linear feedback shift register, linear feedback shifting. So, that is our G. So, this way we are updating this state and this state is initialized by the secret key shared between Alice and Bob and then we are having another function uh, h which is taking the content of the state and which is giving us the key stream. So, this is k 1 k 2 like this k i. So, this is the key stream this is the zero random bit generator key stream key stream. So, this is and then we XOR with this with the plain text bit to get the cipher text bit C 1 C 2 C i so far. Okay, so, this is the uh, this is the at t th time this is the state. So, which is initialized by the uh, the secret key and every time we are updating the state by the g function and every time we are taking the content of the state and we are applying this function h, we are, we are getting the uh, key stream the dieth key stream. So, like this. So, LFSR is one example of the 
synchronized stream cipher. So, this is the general form and then a construction of a synchronized stream cipher. Thank you.